They think that they want it, but they don't really want it. I strike with no warning, no, they don't see it coming. I handle my business, stay the fuck out the way. Yeah, all on my lane, get the fuck out my space. I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, yeah, I'm on a winning streak. He just wanted you to just see his he just wanted you to see his Instagram, man. I believe in my shit. You know what I'm saying? I put money down my shit. Are you crazy though? I'm not, I am crazy. I'm crazy about my talent, nigga. Send me your screen about your talent. It's not gonna work. How is it gonna work? Tell me. This shit is not gonna work. How is it gonna work? Of course it's not gonna work. You know why? Talk to me. Because you stupid. I want the money. way you're approaching it. It's wrong. How? First you want the CD or album? Nah, what the fuck are you gonna there's nothing to play right now. There's nothing you can show me right now that's gonna help you. My IG. Saying like, yo, this is it. Like, Look I, at my IG. It's gonna help you right now. My shoe, big call me Jimmy. I'm getting that you. I holler, Suwoo, them niggas salute. I call up the troops, them niggas a shoot. I ride with the brims and fight with the rules. Don't play by the rules. Keep me a tool. That bitch and go boom. I'll make your ass move. It's like I'm doing 90 on the interstate, drunk as hell, racing. That's how I wreck a nigga. Like I'm in a cell playing $20 games on a chess boy. How I check a nigga. You say you got power, don't respect a nigga. Text 22 straight peck a nigga. She like how I get the pussy wet. Say she like how you do it, but a nigga do it better, nigga. Uh uh. Stand down. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men Too Movement. Uh, lately, I've been posting a lot of shit on my, uh, actually, just today. Um, been posting, uh, this is June 6th. Been posting a lot of shit uh, about, you got Suki Hana talking about getting an abortion um, because her nigga made her mad. Um... Another bitch playing about taking a plan B pill, like how to properly scam a nigga with the plan B pill. Um, and then another bitch actually trying to murder her nigga as she threw him out the house. She ran him over with a car, actually ran him over. Um, everybody thinks that this men too shit is a fucking game for some reason. I'm assuming that's why I haven't reached my 10,000 signature mark, nor my um, goal on uh, GoFundMe. Um, because everybody thinks it's a game, whatever. But I'm still and will forever be leader and founder of the Men Too movement. Um, I will continue to help uh, men all around the world uh, stay out of prison uh, behind false rape allegations. Um, I will push for uh, female molesters and male it doesn't matter but when a male is sexually assaulted i will fight to get uh, whoever molested him arrested um period point blank um, i will continue to fight for child support reform that won't stop um whether or not i have help it's in the air this is Are You Fucking Serious? If you do want to contribute to um, the GoFundMe, sign a petition, or do anything, all of that information is in the description box. Um, it's on you at this point. But what I will say, what I will say is um, as, for you cele as for the celebrities, the if I cover your shit, it's only to um, help uh, the men around the world. I will not. I'm not trying to help you directly. Um, you celebrities have the opportunity um, and resources to take this movement to a whole nother level, so that no man um, 
ever again is jailed for 28 years because a bitch had a dream that he raped her. And then when he leaves the jail, he gets $75. And if you haven't done that, then I, you are less than the shit on my fucking boot from goddamn I can't sign it. You son of a bitch. All right, uh, but today we talking about uh, 50 Cent. <clears throat> 50 Cent. I, I I don't think I've ever done a story on 50 Cent. Um, this shit is, it, it was a bittersweet moment for me. Uh, actually, it was just kind of sweet. Because now we can see that you rap niggas have no idea what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. You don't know what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. Um, you niggas have taken... Your annoying tactics to the streets. Nobody wants to get your post about uh, the, the bullshit ass fly about whatever the fuck. Nobody wants to see that on their timeline. No one wants to see that. It, you know. You know what's happened is that we've we've um, you know how you can go nose blind or something that you um, uh, smell on top of your house and shit like that. The Febreze commercial and shit. That's we've gone actually blind. To your, um, if you post anything, like when we see anything that looks like a music video from a local nigga, we see a, a flyer with a local nigga. The only reason we'll maybe look at it is if we see a, a somebody who's popping on that motherfucker. And honestly, when we see um, a, a list of fucking local niggas on that hoe, we damn, they don't want to go. Nobody likes a local fucking artist. Nobody likes an independent artist. It's what the fuck it is. This is why you don't get no support. This is why no one fucks with your shit. Ah, uh, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, you know shit. Every time I drop some shit, man, I get goddamn, uh, I get a. Nobody gives a fuck how many views you get on Facebook. That shit simply means that somebody scrolled past your shit because it was on their timeline because you they friend. That was your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your brother. Uh, nobody watching your shit, dog. No one gives a fuck about your music. And so what you've done, now you tell you, yeah, you know, new song, go check it out on SoundCloud. Nobody going to your SoundCloud, nigga. So now you done gone to the streets and begging motherfuckers to go to your Instagram. Out this bitch with nothing in hand. Beg them up, hey man, just go check out my... Why the fuck would I do that? Why? Because, so I'm 50 cent and, and, and because you rap, I'm just supposed to... Put you on. I'm just supposed to listen to your freestyle. What the fuck if I don't feel like that shit, dog? You, you, like, you, that's why niggas can't go in their inbox. Because you niggas try to spam that shit. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Nobody gives a fuck if you believe you're the next big thing. If you're the next big thing, then be the next thing, right? Like, do it. I'll see you then. That's why there's no love in the industry. This isn't an industry of love, uh, big brother. No. It's business. Once you get to a point where a nigga feel like he can make some money off of you, then I'm going to holler at you and show you some love. But never should you approach a motherfucker in the street with nothing in hand, dog. But that's, see, that's something that you wouldn't know. If you would, because, and the reason why I'm going like this on this, because, dog, I have issues with artists. I have issues with them. Like, believe it or not, what happens is, um, there will be artists, because this, this is what I'm saying. That artist who was out there whole begging a nigga to, to look at this, what the fuck would me looking at your IG do? Are you serious? Oh, shit. That's grand great. Hey, look, man. We go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in that live, do not donate to the super chat. The super chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App, we got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page so that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. 
um, for all the new folks and shit like that, if you're trying to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt or the Me and Two t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast Scullies, Scullies go for 10, the Me and Two shirts go for 20, the uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t-shirt go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want and what shirt you want. Um, for all my advertisers, no matter if you got a book. Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200 and those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction and I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do. Yada, 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 and we'll go to it. But I'm not doing that. Are you paid on Friday? Dog, I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come on. Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know the shit happened also, so you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get this shit together, Beyonce. Hey, and then the cameraman, he just wants you to look at his IG, dog. That's all he want, bro. And then, oh yeah, I see your IG, that was up. You don't just want me to look at your IG, you want me to sign you. You want me to help you. You want me to save you. You begging. What would be more um, uh, attractive uh, to me as a, as a person that is above you is if you were... If I saw people ganging around you, if you already had something going on, but having to push a car up here, that's not attractive or appealing. I'm not at that place, and you know what I'm saying? And I'm with a, you know what I'm saying? With a, a nothing ass bitch. You can tell that hoe is a nothing ass bitch. She's just a, a bitch he just clicked off of Instagram, but that's not the point. And 50, you better watch out for that also. That whole look, she had, she got a baby in her eyes. She has a child in her eyes. And I'm hoping that you don't fall for that shit, 50, because it seems like you you getting fucked up in childhood. And your son, your first son, like y'all really beef for real on some heavy shit, like talking about killing each other and shit. So I, I hope you don't fall for that baby shit, dog. Because you were dressed like a, a lame-ass nigga. You were dressed like a lame-ass nigga. But I guess you were trying to be incognito. That's probably what it was. But the reason why this is important is because um, that artist that was out there begging, I may have um, that'd be the same artist that maybe one of his people said, hey, hey, yo, man, this, cause this happens, this is what people do. Hey, man, this dude right here, man, I know you, you know, you fuck, this is not a rap trap artist right here, man, he's saying something different or whatever the fuck. So they'll send them to me or, or like, and I, I, dog, you know what I'm saying? If, if I, if you, if I can catch you before, you know what I'm saying, it's my um, notifications fill up, whatever, I'll go and look at who tagged me and whatever they tagged me and shit like that. So, bam, uh, I might have went and checked the nigga out. And uh, and then let's say he was good or some shit like that. I'm like, hey, look, I'll go to him personally. Like, hey, man, look, um, I don't do shit for free, but I'm reaching out personally. Like, it looked like, you know what I'm saying, you got the talent. It's just your numbers ain't reflecting that hit me up let's talk business you know a nigga will hit me back like no nah, i'm good bro i don't need no promotion i got this and i try to give a nigga i i really be trying to give niggas like leeway like you know maybe it's been ao nation and you know internet maybe hey my man maybe we got off on the wrong foot do you know who i am you might want to google big facts you know what i'm saying just in case we have a misunderstanding i'm good bro i don't let that i don't let that you know what I'm saying hinder me because i like music love music live by music anyway so if someone sends me another artist i like i really want to hear what the fuck this person hears like maybe um this is like a you know the nigga black six black but his name is black 
or the uh, Janae Aoko. And I found a lot of good artists like that. I, that's how I found Trey HD. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when that artist said, I'm going to and all that shit right there, I'm assuming that, okay, first off, dog, you only have 800 followers. Your last post, or no, nah, fuck your last post. I go back two posts to see what kind of numbers you really get. You only got 20 fucking likes on it and no comments. What the fuck do you mean you're good? Is it is it the fact that I said I'm not doing nothing for free? Okay, so I don't do nothing for free. So now you go and beg 50 cent on the corner. That's going to work for you. And your retarded ass cameraman is just as fucking stupid. Because he actually went out there and he's sick this shit. He just wants you to listen to his Look at his Instagram, man. Why the fuck you ain't... The reason why you didn't tell him not to do it is because you ain't know no fucking better. So when a nigga approaches you... I'm saying... When, I don't give a fuck. When a nigga... Because I was going to say if a nigga... Maybe you've you been approached by other niggas and shit like that. I don't give a fuck about that. When a nigga approaches you with you not having um, nothing going on, you have nothing to lose. Any motherfucker who approaches you, you should be like, yeah, what's going on with you? And, and at least trying to see what they have going on because you're fucking... You have 20 fucking likes. What the fuck do you have to lose? But here you is, after a nigga you know, came in your inbox personally, knowing damn well I ain't got no business looking for new artists when I'm backed up the way I am with niggas that haven't got on the show yet that have already, you know what I'm saying? But I love music, so I'll do that because I was once. But I was never, I can't even say I was once a nigga who was going, I was never that. I either had a CD in hand or a flyer in hand. I would never go outside empty handed and tell somebody to go look at my, unless I'm just, unless I'm out of flyers. Hey man, um, Google Ayo Conseco. But I wouldn't want to say that because it's, and that's another thing that an artist would know. You don't want to have a a name to where they have a a chance of fucking up the spelling. You know what I'm saying? That you have to tell them. You all you want a name that you can say out a window while driving and they'll still be able I, I heard what he said. Google cat in the hat and you wanna make sure you say Google. You don't want to give them too you want to give them one fucking direction. Google this. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to say, go on YouTube and then hit this. No, Google. Google. Google uh, Big Facts. Google Rap Trap. Google Stupid Rappers. Something very simple so that when they hit, I oh, see exactly what he's talking about. That's him. Which one is it? No, you're uh, you going to say, type in J57 uh, Aichiba. How the fuck do I spell Aichiba? Fuck that shit. Cause they don't want to give you a chance anyway. No one likes, and that was my first seal. If anybody uh, from the, the earlier shows know, the show was called No One Likes Local Rappers. I even had a show called A Million Reasons Not To Be A Rapper. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's coming from experience. So I'm giving you the things that, you know, if you're an artist that is out here, so at least he had that right, that he was actually outside. At least he had that right. And I, I, I know that's bullshit. At least he had that right. He was actually outside. When all you other artists are just inside the house and just uh, uh, just on the computer. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you just spent all the money. The only time you go in the street is to... Uh, you don't even go in the street for real. Fuck are y'all barking at, man?
The only time you go on the street for real is to maybe, only time you go outside the house is to shoot a fucking video and then you right back inside the house. Go get some, um, the fuck would you go get? Um, you won't go get shit. You don't have nothing to go get because you do everything over the fucking phone. You don't even give yourself a chance to have a, to, to see how a motherfucker um, actually feels about your shit or human interaction. You don't understand how important that is um, and how different it hits from digital interaction. Because you thrive off this internet shit. This internet shit is is uh, like Katrina uh, Gibbs says. Conversation with me. Make sure you go subscribe. Internet niggas. This is where. So you you like the fact that everybody on the internet um, is is not who the fuck they say they are because that's what the fuck you're doing. You know that if you ever went outside, people would see exactly who you really are. So you have to stay inside the house and work the fucking phone. And hope that uh, your shit pop off like Lil Pump or Lil Xan and Lil uh, and all these fucking faggots. Because you can't, you'll never make it out there on the street. So I do have to salute him for even being outside, even if he's doing it wrong. At least he's outside the house. But you know, this is another reason why you'll you'll see me on my Instagram and Facebook and shit like that, snapping on niggas like, okay. Because after they went out there and got just punished like that, maybe a month later, Big Pack's podcast will come up on there recommended on YouTube, and they'll be like, "Oh, bro, hey man, I just, oh man, look, man, my fault, man. I had a lot of shit going on with my family and shit like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look, I was trying to see what your what your uh, pack, package was. Yeah, like, uh, it's all good, my man. Look, prices started a thousand dollars, so uh, you know, just let me know when you're ready to go to work." A thousand dollars, bro. Yeah, a rat. A rat, my nigga. What's up? See, you always... You want to make sure that you know who... You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you don't burn no bridge with the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? So, this is, this is why I'm, I'm using this situation. Please. Because... There are people out there who can really, that will be really your only hope. Artists, listen to me. You really only have but three mistakes to make. Really, and I'm going to be honest with niggas, in life, you only have but three big mistakes to make before your life is over. You know, your first mistake could be to become a felon. Second mistake could be to have got a bitch pregnant. Third mistake, you know what I'm saying, Riding with a firearm. After that, your life is fucked. Everything, your, the rest of your life will be trying to fix those things. Or trying to live with those type of fucking harnesses on you. You done lost this much time with this. Like, now I can't go to certain jobs and shit because I'm a felon and shit like that. Now I got to pay money out for fucking child. Uh, now I, didn't, I lost another five years because I went to jail for that fucking gun. Because I was trying to get money for the child. Because I had to fuck with a nothing ass bitch because I'm a felon. You know what I'm saying? So every and, it, and you just keep like compounding shit. As an artist, you get the same thing. When you have an opportunity. So I guess I should say you have three opportunities to miss. And then it's over with. Um, so that's what I'm saying. You don't want to like. You should really be trying to make sure that you walk softly. You look at artists and, and just look at that three opportunity rule. Look at how, you know, th the reason why they didn't succeed was pretty much three things that they fucked up and they just never could get back from. Maybe if you fuck up one time or fuck up one opportunity, all good. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that with athletes too. And so when motherfuckers say, I ain't never had shit, that's a motherfucking lie. I never like when motherfuckers say, I never had shit. Because everybody has had someone that tried to help them. You just brushed them off. As fucked up as, as we think black people are, there are men like me, Big C, Gab, this, you know, a lot of good men who will see a young nigga fucking up and will try to take him under the wing and try to 
but I'm not going to hurt. I'm not going to allow you to hurt me. I'm not going to try to help you so much that I hurt myself. I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm going to, hey, hey, what you're doing is you're going to fuck some shit up. Hey, let me show you how to work this camera. Let me show you how to work these clippers. Let me show you how to, this truck life go. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going down the wrong, and usually as we're young, we, I was just talking to Big C about this shit. Usually when we were young, dog, we was in high school and shit like that, you know, there were two things for sure that was just like, I'm not doing that shit. Being a fucking garbage man and going to a community college. If, if motherfuckers in high school right now, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm a, when I get out of school, I'm going to be a garbage truck driver. The fuck? You jank people, you're going to be a garbage man when you grow up. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you going to a fuck? You going to Faulkner? You going to Bishop State? Man, you going to Fortis? You going to ITT Tech? You know what I'm saying? You going to these bullshit ass colleges? As soon as you turn 25, that's how you know that you've grown. You know what I'm saying? In high school, you jank folks with them t that type of shit. Community college and a uh, garbage truck man. You get 25, let a motherfucker say he he a goddamn garbage man. Or he going back to goddamn Faulkner to get his goddamn bachelor's or whatever the fuck. Oh, that nigga doing his thing. Shit, that boy doing shit. That nigga just got on with the goddamn city. Boy, that nigga goddamn garbage man. You know what they do. That nigga, man, shit, that boy doing good. Boy, that nigga in Bishop State right now, boy. Yeah, yeah. And whatever goddamn community college you got around your city and your state and shit. Like, that community college shit is like when you're in high school because you, you, you feel like you have so much potential. And I always tell y'all the story about how I thought that I was just, you know, once you get older, you, you think, because you see that a lot of folks didn't graduate high school. Um, I thought, you know, graduating high school was, you know, and it is a, um achievement and shit like that. But it was a girl who got pregnant at 16, dropped out of high school, and by the time that I graduated from high school at 18, she had already had her GED and was already in the nursing field. Um, and it's like, God damn. So you you really just, you ahead of me by two years. By two years, you're ahead of me. You've already started a whole career. Like, you got two years in your field already. So it, it's, really, it, it's really about how you look at shit, whatever like that. But I'm saying that to say that um, the way that you look at things now as a child... You're going to look at them totally different as an adult. Once you see what it is out here in the real world where it's cold at. Going to Faulkner is a shit. you going above and beyond. God working for the city. Man, that mean you ain't got no goddamn felonies. That mean that you on the ball. You got a career. You ain't just working at the fucking warehouse or some, you know, bullshit ass uh, landscaping. And when I say landscaping, I mean not only because you can be a landscaper and be on like a motherfucker if that's your own business. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're working as a worker on a landscape with a landscaper and you're working towards, you know what I'm saying, getting your own shit, whatever like that. It's a lot of ways you can be a boss. But I'm saying as we're immature and we're childish, we'll look at those things like, hey, what the fuck? Oh, hey, hey, I'm going to be a goddamn... No, you think you're going to do that until you got here in this cold world and understand it don't work like that. In high school, you so, you're, you're, you're coddled, um, uh, you're sheltered in high school, believe it or not. Um, that's not how the real world is, but you won't find that out until you get out here. Um, and the reason I was saying that is because um, my dog was... Uh, um, I was telling him that uh, my uncle drove trucks um, when I was younger, and I never looked, you know, I never looked at him like that's why, cause you know, dirty and you know, you know what I mean, and that is CDL man, come on man, driving trucks and shit. That's not it's like we want to be, we want to be somebody when we younger. You no, know not knowing what it takes to actually be somebody that wear them kind of clothes every day and be fresh and shit. Of course you go out here and sell dope, but then you're going to be way more dirty than the motherfucker with the CDL. Because now you're going, like, you know what I'm saying, the, the clothes on the outside is not like the clothes on the inside. 
You know what I'm saying? So you'll definitely take that dirty outfit that that truck driver got over the goddamn Alabama prison uniform. But you can't see that yet. So as a child, like, um, what the fuck? I don't give a fuck about driving no fucking truck. But now at this point in life, or before this point, like, man, if I had my goddamn CDL, that's gold. If you have your CDL license, that is fucking gold. That means you can make money anywhere. You can get a job anywhere. Felon or no felon, murder nigga or no murder nigga. They need truck drivers everywhere right now. And those are things that you find out later on in life. And I'm just that's what I'm talking about with missed opportunities and uh and fuck ups and shit like that. Um being young naive and you can be young and naive in this music shit the same way those mistakes that i made when i was 17 in the music shit you know what i'm saying look back at it and i and you know laugh like what the fuck was i thinking about but i was naive but i'm glad that i went through those things at 17 and not at fucking 30. you know the, the way that you looked at the rap game when you were a teenager just it's the same way you looked at life when you were a teenager you know what i'm saying you were wrong about it but if you were raised in music, like, you know, uh, the Simmons or T.I.'s children, uh, when they were 10, year, 10 years old, they, they could see music from a different angle, different perspective. Even though I believe that um, if your parent was a, I know that, if your parent is a masterpiece, T.I., it doesn't matter who the fuck it is, your children will not be a success. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You, uh, you, it don't matter how you can push them on us as much as you want, but you've cursed your children not to be able to do what it is you do. Music is that type of thing. Uh, rap is. I don't know about um, um, country music and pop. It might be the exact opposite with them, but with us in rap music, if your parent was a rap star, I'm not going to respect you like I did your parent because you, I know that you didn't come up like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have a, a, a badge on you. So you can go do, you know, kids music or some shit like that. Go to Disney or whatever. But in this rap shit, I'm not going to respect you. Actually, I'm going to look at you funny when you start cussing. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you doing? So, um, but but that's, that's what that is. Um, but with this music... Um, it is complicated and there's some things that you have to go through. So that's why people like me who've been through it and, and, and done everything that, you know, that can be done pretty much on a independent level. Promotion, like it's not a lot of people who do promotion well that can guarantee something. Um, that will also let you see what it is. If they have a portfolio, it's, it's not something that you can deny. But because of your young ignorance and arrogance, you will fuck up and miss one opportunity. And being that for a whole career that can be 30 years long, you only have three mistakes to make, that one fuck, that's goddamn. Whoo! That's serious. So what I, would, what I would tell the artist is, please understand, you don't have no fucking time and nobody wants to hear your music. No one wants to hear, no one gives a fuck when you drop. I don't give a fuck what they done. That shit fire, bro. All they did was push buttons on their motherfucking phone. They don't listen to your music outside of this shit. When they get in the car, they do not listen to your shit. Y'all just got a little bit close on social media so they feel like I'm just going to put a fire mark under every fucking post. You putting up posts, hey, I know I ain't going to get that many, but if you fuck with me, man, put up a hundred, man. You so fucking gay. Are you serious? You trying to pity people into fucking with you? I know I ain't going to get a lot, man, but if you fuck with me, man, put a hundred. Man, y'all. But that's, that's that's the and, and and I'm so glad that this happened because it needed to take place so that you can see what you think the world is and what the world actually is. Like this is your thoughts, this is reality. When they meet, it's going to be a problem. Where you probably thought I'm gonna be what Fifty Cent gonna be, or I'm gonna meet, go find the stars, some shit like that. And run down on them, and they gonna have to fuck with me because I'm gonna say it like this, and that's just like a, a boxer would say, or Mike Tyson said, 
Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the fucking face. The deal is, you have to go get punched in the face enough time to be able to, I, I can, I absorb that. I know what to do once I get punched. You motherfuckers think, nah, I'm going to go out here and fight. This going to be like this. Nigga, shoot the kids from under your ass and beat you the fuck up. And you never come back outside. And that's the mistake. You didn't do, you, you were outside. You were in the right place. You just had the wrong shit. So go back to the lab. If you don't have no money, that's the first thing you need to fix. You're not going to be able to do music with no money. Pure point fucking blank. Even if you want to do it on your own. You're going to need a graphic designer, a videographer, and, and you know what? I'm going to take videographer out because the videographer is only going to give you something that you're going to put online. The videographer is not going to give you something that you can give to real people. My way of promotion is a real way. Y'all see the Big Face podcast and shit like that. Honestly, this came far after I was promoting artists started promoting artists at 25 years old like you know what i'm saying so it's a blessing to have a platform you know what i'm saying now to where i can easily this is nothing to promote an artist on here though i still won't do it like you can tell who has experience in promotion and who doesn't because the niggas who don't oh uh, yeah look, look at our sponsor and this no that's not how you make folks listen to music if they know it's just like if they know it's your sponsor they know that they don't actually, they can say, this shit is trash. They, they don't have to fuck with it, even though I'm glad I have an audience who will tell you if the music is trash or not. You know what I'm saying? No matter if they think it's your homeboy or not. But there's a way that you should do things if you're actually trying to promote that artist. And artists, you should take a look at that. Look at how artists get treated on the platform that you're choosing to promote on. Like, if you're not, if you're not touching real people and you know that you're touching them, you shouldn't do it. So if you go outside, pants on flies, patching real people, regardless. Posting something on Facebook, you're not you don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh like button, like button, like button. What the fuck does a like button mean? Nigga, it's it's motherfuckers who like per post to show a motherfucker, yeah, I seen this shit, nigga, it's on. The fuck does a like mean? You need to go out and touch the people. Your surrounding area is going to be your test ground where you find out what works, what doesn't. Yes, there's going to be a lot of haters around, but people are not, a lot of people ain't just with that face-to-face, -face, you know what I'm saying? You, you make it awkward for them when you get face-to-face. -face. And you will learn different shit by going outside and talking to people. But you're going to have to come out that shell and actually start to talk. And that's the reason why I, I would tell you, hey, look, I don't do shit for free, but if a nigga, and it's, it's the same thing, if if um, if the Lear Cohen, uh, Dame Dash, yada, 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 CEOP said, hey, I don't do shit for free, but I like what you got going on, you're going to jump for joy. And that's, that's why I take offense to it. That's why I take offense to it. So you seen my name and you just ain't feel my name had no weight. So, uh, but then you, oh shit. And now you come back. Now the price then went up to goddamn five racks. So if you want to do work, we'll do five racks. Five racks? Yeah, five racks. Because most of you rap niggas is hoes anyway. And that's another thing about promotion too. For everybody who's trying to be promoters and shit like that, that's another class I teach. Just anything in music, whether it be from, from the artist to the manager to the uh, graphic designers, it don't matter what place it is in music, I, I have a class for it. You know what I'm saying? My YouTube classes to get your channel monetized and shit like that. I, I get I get results. So I can talk, what the fuck, man? So I can talk how I want to talk. You understand? But at the end of the day, like I said, this was a good, this was a good thing that happened. For a nigga to have his thoughts and thinking I can go out here empty handed and my fucking earring in my fucking cheekbone is gonna goddamn make me stand out and nigga gonna check my IG out and for my IG he gonna sign me to G Unit, which is a failing label. That's another thing about you niggas. You don't you don't give a nigga, you baby is no baby Glock 9, I told you niggas. What the fuck was finna happen to Glock 9? Did I not just tell you what the fuck was gonna happen to Glock 9? 
It's a failing fucking. It's talking about an artist only got three motherfucking times. A fucking label only has one, maybe fucking two X, maybe fucking two X before it's over with for them. You don't have those what black owned. Well, I'm talking about black owned. Uh, of course, um, Atlantic, Sony, Interscope, Universal can have multiple, you know, big artists. Black owned labels at the most have like two X. Not, I'm, I'm talking current day. Not, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm talking about current day. A label only has about two motherfucking X. About two of them. CEOP will be the exception to the rule, which you will have. Uh, but it, 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 it's just a, a matter of time before that fucking label just, I'm signing a bad boy. I'm signing No Limit. The fuck? They didn't have their time. Just like everybody has their time. The artist, the producer, the fucking jeweler. Well, not, I don't know, but this motherfucker... TV Giant, this nigga been on top for a while, but you know Jacob, that shit, that was a, that was an error. You gotta be a certain age to remember that shit, the Jacob watches and shit. But you know that's what that is. A lot of you artists really just need, uh, all of you need guidance. So you need to start first off, get you a steady job, take care of your business. But you're gonna have to have, um, you need to have a at least a thousand dollar budget with this music shit. And when I say $1,000, I mean like $1,000 a month type shit. This shit is going to take money. You're going to have to lose money. You're going to have to do the wrong thing with the money in order to find out what the right thing is. As long as you like, hey, but as long as you on that type of shit. Because you don't have no amount of uh, um, fuck ups as far as I put my money here, man, that shit ain't work. You have an unlimited amount of those. But as far as missing those chances to spend that money and get in the right place, you only got three of them. So it would be better to spend it and get scammed so you can see what the fuck the scammer looks like and learn how to, I can talk to each one of these scammers and not one of them is going to make me go in my pocket through fucking mental control and just give them my money. So I can listen to each one of these motherfuckers talk. I don't have to buy nothing. It's just like uh, uh, white people um, will, um, I, I don't have any money. Nigga, I'm just walking. Why in the fuck would you say that? Because they just think somebody going to ask them for something. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I don't give a fuck what you selling. Man, holler at me. Holler at me. If I don't like the, I don't, like, you running, I don't give a fuck. I don't have to reach in my pocket and give you shit. The fuck is you gonna do? But that's how you can tell who's, you know what I'm saying? If you've been around that shit, that shit ain't the fuck. And that's what I'm saying, like what a street nigga is. A street nigga is someone who is comfortable in the street, no matter if you in Alabama, Mississippi. I just told Big Cena, man, when I come to goddamn Ohio, man, I don't wanna go to the tourist spots. Take me to goddamn um well, the, 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 like, they selling got the, the gas station that don't sell gas and, and uh, the fucking uh, little corner store that sell loose cigarettes for 50 cent. Man, take me there. And just, you know what I'm saying, just show me where it's at. I got my rental car and I'm just going to move around like that. Like, I don't, I don't want to go downtown. Oh, look, oh, uh, this is where, I don't know. Put me around, you know what I'm saying, so I can, you know, navigate how I want to navigate. I know how to move with respect. But when you don't know how to do that, then you, uh, uh, no, I ain't going over there. Yeah, I see, I see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But that's another reason that you all just ain't never gonna make it is because you've never been who the fuck you claim to be. You've never been that person. So you just keep doing that rap shit and, and shoot your video in, in some type of hole. And then everybody's surprised when you say, yeah, I'm from goddamn Daphne, Alabama. How in the fuck, nigga? I ain't never seen this nigga. And it's, he talking that trap shit. How in the fuck is this nigga? Yeah, I'm from goddamn Atlanta, Georgia. How in the fuck? 
He from over there? I ain't never seen that nigga. But he probably did what he was supposed to do. That nigga wasn't scared to spend that money. He wasn't... So even if he was spending money to go to a seminar to talk to some people that know about this game, he spent that money. While you was over this whole swearing to God that you were just the most fine nigga. And, uh, yeah, my, my, my music gonna get me there, nigga. But that that was for y'all, man. I, I, I definitely wanted to speak to, you know, my artists and shit like that. Because, um, uh, like I said, I, I'm gonna continue to fuck with local artists. Um... Like that music is just like the ultimate gamble. You know what I'm saying? If you like to play the stock market, you like to go to, you know what I'm saying, um, fucking Vegas, then you know what I'm saying? This music shit is just because it's all a fucking gamble. You just never fucking know. You know what I'm saying? When you'll come up on the next fucking Drake. You know what I'm saying? And I truly believe that I have a good enough ear to where I will be able to, you know what I'm saying? So I'm never going to give up on artists, but I'm just telling you artists. That this shit right here is always going to end up like this. You might get an artist who doesn't do a 50 deal. Like, oh yeah, that was up. And give you a fake number. Or say, yeah, just hit me up. And just never responds to you. I think what 50 did was kind of like, it was noble. Like, I'm not even going to have you thinking that I'm going to fuck with you. Like, nigga, it's not going to work. So that's letting you know, do something else. Do something else. At least you were smart enough to record it though. Big Facts Podcast. Make sure you hit that PayPal button. Um, if you're not on the Men Too Movement boat yet, don't hit me up when it happened to you, nigga. See y'all in a minute. Love.